read, for example, React 16.8.1. What does that mean? What does the 8 mean? What does the 1 mean? What does that mean? What does everything mean? We're going to learn that. We're going to learn how the software is named on the internet. So, before I start, you need to understand that this way of naming software is called SEMVER, ver, semantic versioning. Now, not everybody follows it. So I'm sure you can find people that don't follow it and libraries and companies that don't follow it. But I have two examples right now that follow it. One of them is React.js and the other one is Django, for example. So two of them, okay? At the moment that I'm recording this, Django is at the version 2.2.4. Yes, and React is at the version 16.8.6. .6. So as you can see, we have three numbers there. First one, second one, third one. So for React and Django, what does the two mean or the 16 mean? What does the first numbers mean? The first number mean, they mean a very big change on the library. They mean a breaking change, a new version, a completely new version. In the case of Django, for example, when I was working with Django 1.10, I think, and then I updated to Django 2. Point something, many things broke. So I had to upgrade my code. If I wanted to use Django 2. Point, two point something, I had to up, upgrade my code. That is the first number, the big one. That is a breaking change, a different version. So if you have a library and you're using it and they go from version 2.0 to 3.0, then you can be sure that you're going to have to make your code look different so it can be upgraded to the next version. Now the number in the middle, the for example 0.8 or in the case of Django 0.2, what does that mean? That means an, a minor, minor, tiny release. We had React 16 and then Hooks came and Hooks was included in React 16.6 .6 or 0.7, I don't remember. As you can see, they bumped the last number, 0.6 to 0.7. They didn't modify the 16. This is a minor release. That just means that it's features that are new, new features, new ways of doing things, new awesome code to use, but they don't break your code. In the way of Django, for example, I upgraded to Django 2.0 and then they have been releasing Django 2.1, 2.2, and they have been adding small improvements, small improvements, but my code doesn't change. My code doesn't suffer because it's not a breaking change. It's just a new feature that came that I can use if I want, but it's not something that changes my code completely. The same thing happened with React. We had React 16 and then with Hooks came, nothing changed in our code, but now there is something new that we can use if we want to, but we don't have to upgrade to use hooks, all right? And now the last number, that one is, people call it for patches or bug fixes. That is just literally for when there are bugs, they just increase that number to fix the bugs. But that shouldn't change your code whatsoever. It's not a new feature, it's just fixing bugs. So for example, Django has 2.2.4, so the four is, they have been fixing bugs four times already. And on React, 16.8.6. That's it, they have been fixing bugs six times by now. You can go, I don't know, 1.1.25 if you are fixing bugs all the time and if you're finding new stuff. You can bump it as much as you want. There is no limit into how high numbers should go. Very, very easy. So let's do a small recap. First number is a version change, breaking change. It will break your code your code will have to be upgraded, usually a pain in the ass. Second number is just a new feature that you can use if you want to. If you don't, you can stay like that, but your code shouldn't change. And the last number is just bug fixes and upgrades, patches and bug fixes, all right? Thank you for watching. I hope that you learned something on this video. I am loving doing newbie questions, so please send me more and more and more questions. Don't forget to be happy. Don't forget to leave a like, and don't forget to eat kimchi. Bye-bye and bye-bye.